Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4, the third episode of our opening trilogy here. And the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, well, I'll go ahead and put that uh, captain's hat on, because that was pretty cool. Um, we could actually put the bandana on, as you see, it covers our mouth, which would give our whole head covered. But uh, I'm not too worried about that. I did want to make sure that my double barrel shotgun is equipped. So we're going to add that up. I'm going to add that to the left. It's a bigger weapon. So, uh, there we have it. Our double barreled shotgun. Ready to roll. Uh, it is a short double barreled, so it has limits. But, um, and we're probably going to stick to this one. Uh, our 10 millimeter is our main pistol. We're going to head uh, to the south, yeah. And I'm going to switch to third person. So you guys can see me. Oh, that is a little dorky looking. Let's let's switch back to the uh, <laughs> the bowler hat. It's a little a little more decent looking. The uh, captain hat would go good with the army fatigues. I'm not going to wear that until I have some uh, some extra armor. So we're going to head south from here. First things first. I'm going to go ahead and cook up that uh, some of that meat we got. So we're going to make some plated baked bloat fly, some uh, grilled rad roach. We're going to make a lot of that. And uh, some mutt chops, a couple of those. And that should actually be it. Yep. Okay. And now the, the importance of cooking that's kind of stuff is it actually doesn't give you radiation now when you eat it. So you, you eat stuff to get your health back up, you eat or drink, and um, like if you eat something that's pre-made, it'll give you radiation, but if you eat that stuff you've cooked, you cook the radiation out of it somehow. It doesn't make any sense, but it's, there's a soldier keeping an eye on us there. I think that's actually called the, the Minuteman Memorial or something. But anyways, we're just going to keep following the road up here, and to the red rocket, you see the big rocket there. Uh, this is our next waypoint. We're going to be taking a minute here, and we're going to be meeting somebody. There you saw, greet the dog. Here he is. Hello, doggo. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. You're going to be our buddy from now on. Yes, you are, sir. Who's a good boy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Okay, so he's our first companion. He'll follow us around. We can give him commands when he holds still enough. Hey. And, uh, oh, you can tell him to go places, and you can also, uh, trade inventory, which I seem to have, uh, gotten a little stuck in. There we go. Okay. Um, so if you go into apparel, you got the gunner's bandana, so you give that over to him, switch over, and you can hit equip. And he's now got a nice handsome bandana on. Isn't that nice? Okay, so. We can uh, command them to go to a specific place and stuff too. Uh, but this is the uh, Red Rocket gas station. So we can loot here. And uh, find some goodies. This is also potentially a base. As we can see here, we've got a new uh, workshop. Okay, so that's interesting. And yeah, we have a... Uh, well, I think this stuff came with it. Yeah, this isn't the stuff. I have to bring stuff from the other place to put here. So that's it. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So I'll, I'll do that next uh, next time I'm around. I'll bring the stuff up that I stored at... Uh... Oh, what you call it? Oh, my. Got that one. So here's our dog friend, he's helping us with the mole rat. Another one bites the dust, how you doing over here buddy? There you go. Good dog, good dog though. I think we took one hit that whole time, not too bad, not too bad. We'll grab some more meat. You guys know what we're going to be doing with that. Yes, sir. We're going to be having us up a barbecue soon. You know, that one had a ton of stuff. Okay, okay. There's the holes they popped out of. 
I think I've rooted pretty much all of them. Alright, so we're just going to stop and uh, loot this place real quick. Because this is going to be a potential base. This is going to be my main base that I'm going to be sticking with most of the time. Our old place is still accessible, of course. You can fix that up if you like. Oh, scissors. Um, we got some papers here, some plates, some more coffee stuff, hot plates. Okay, okay, okay. Papers, papers, papers. A little pre-war money in the register. Some cigarettes behind the desk. Telephone. Undoubtedly got some good screws in it. A clip lighter in there. We've also got a ham radio, a cabinet that's empty. Okay, we got uh, an empty cabinet back here. A tin can on top of the cabinet. We got a wrench on the shelf. We got, uh, let's see. Cigarette card and microscope. We got uh, something in there. Turpentine. A turpentine in there, which is very good. Uh, cap stash. Clipboard. Let's see. That finally cabinet's broke. This desk has nothing. We got uh, some stuff in there. We got some psycho. Uh, there's a terminal here. Uh, you can use it to get some background info. So read the logs of the guys that used to work here and see what they were up to. Uh, it does mention that there's a cave underneath this place, and we are going to go explore that cave because they also mentioned having uh, parts of stock like uh, fusion uh, cores, and we're going to need fusion cores. They power our uh, powered arm, and we eventually get some of that. So we're definitely going to need that. And the uh, the things we killed are also a clue that there is something else going on around here so here you got your chemistry station um, everything's much more accessible here you've got your armor bench here yeah you got your cooking pot here ice cooler that actually utilitarian and here's the garage you got your powered armor rack here and you got your uh, weapons workbench here okay and a radio that's already on so you can do uh, pretty much anything you might want to do right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and transfer all my junk over, just for starters, really. Um, and next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for that nest. There's a, around the back of the place here, there's a cave. And inside that cave, there it is, you can see all the glowing green shit. That's naturally where it's, uh, where it's coming from. Glowing fungus. You can eat those, extinguisher, ballpoint pen, adjustable wrench, combination wrench, ball beam hammer, I mean, excuse me. More glowing fungus, more glowing fungus. Uh, I haven't found out if glowing fungus is useful for anything yet, so I'm just going to take everything like I always do. Use the oil can, coffee pot. Okay, and so this is where we're going to find more of those mole rats. So, uh, here we go. Come on, buddy. Mole rat den. And we're also going to find uh, the fusion core that they mentioned on the computer down here, along with some other stuff. Okay. Alright, here we are. Now the 10mm pistol is probably still the best. We can get this guy before it digs. There we go. Because what happens when they spot you is they dig down, and then like a bunch of these pop up now. Dogs also usually pretty good at taking these out, but we did all these, which is fine. Okay, that's our dog. <laughs> okay, uh, there's more brain fungus down here. I'm gonna harvest some of that. You don't really need to uh, get some more rat stuff. Uh, more glowing fungus. You want to harvest more of that? Uh, there's all kinds of junk piled up here in the middle, uh, so we'll go through that. This looks like a Braxo. Oh no, that's something else. Metal bucket. Okay, that's good. Glowing fungus. Here's a fungus among us. Plunger. And a cabinet that's empty. What? Whoa. Extinguisher. Yeah, you might also need a light. Okay, you might also want to take some radix before you come down here. Because it is a little, uh, a little radioactive like. I'm not too worried about it though. Let's see, take a left leg, why not? Take a pelvis bone. 
I saw your danger. Oh, this is a rabbit mole rat. It's like the queen of the mole rats. There you go. Oh, there we are. Took almost a whole clip there. Braxo cleaner. Uh, let's see, what did the rabbit mole rat have? The usual mole rat hide, mole rat teeth. That's what we got more adhesive here, a coffee cup, collect some more brain fungus. Why not? There's a safe over there you can see. We got that, we got a wrench. In here somewhere is. We don't want to drink that water. Somewhere in here is the power core. I think it's in here or it's in. No, you know what? It's in the other one. It's in the other one because we're not even getting the radiation message here. Okay, not that. Nope, other way. Probably just a smidge. Oh, oh, not enough. There you go. Nice. And there we go. Got all kinds of good stuff here. Molotov cocktail, toothpaste. Maybe not great stuff, but it's good stuff. Okay, so yeah, no fusion core here. I believe it's at the other. There's uh, two arms that stretch out beyond here. There's, uh, well, this is a little section here. Or you might be able to find some stuff. Yeah, there's a... Oh, excuse me, dog. Oh. So also, oh, yeah, the duffel bag. Kind of blends in with the background. Okay. And that's the way out, I believe. So this should be the way... Yep, there you see the leaking radiation in right here. A big bright yellow thing. That's a fusion core. So we're going to need those on a lot of them. Uh, some more guns and ammo back here. And an award. Now this is funny. This is actually an environmentalist award for uh, having the most uh, economical way of getting rid of your toxic waste. And naturally they were just dumping it in the cave underneath. I knew there were some rounds here. Okay. A little hard to see those 10 millimeter rounds. Okay, so we got some rads on us. But we want to get out of here before that gets us too much. And we're pretty much going to head back the way we came and take all the mold rad stuff. And that is our adventure in the Mole Rat Den. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, we got a fusion core, we got some radiation, we got some other stuff. Uh, once we get up, I'll take some rat away, and that'll take care of that. Uh, you can also use your vault uh, outfit. We'll actually give you some resistance to radiation. Uh, we want some rat away. Here we are. And we'll eat some... What do we got? We got some big blowfly. That'll get our health back up as the radiation goes away. See that? It's like magic. Now that down there is a house, and that is uh, the place we were trying to reach in the first place. Uh, Concord. So we'll be heading there next. But we're going to return back here when we're done. So this is going to be a pretty big event. So we've got a lot of stuff's about to happen. So keep up with us, guys. Keep up with us. Uh, we're getting to the fun parts. Um, knowing what's ahead of me, I'm going to equip the shotgun and uh, holster it. So they run a little faster without it, you know. Now that's a separate path that goes around kind of a back way. Oh my! This I didn't. Okay, so that was a waste. Got one. Dog chased the other away. I forgot about those, but those things turn up, you know, around this thing. Got some bottle caps. I killed the one, right? Yeah. We got some block fly or whatever the fuck that thing was. Big nasty skeeter. That house actually has some good stuff to loot, but I'm gonna get that later. We're probably gonna do like a looting run in this area after clearing it, but for now, we have a story event to do. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. Come on, dog, we got this. Uh, we're gonna head to the, uh, we have a museum here. I, uh, and you've already been spotted. Uh, the raider.
your leathers are good. We're, we're gonna leave the rest of them. We're just gonna move on up. Now you can always use this to kind of see how many enemies are around. Right now we got uh, two. I think there's two overlapping there. Good job, K9 companion. You will behave with our dog. There you go. On the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Okay, so he wants us to grab this musket down here. Short laser musket. Uh, there's the guy that the musket belonged to. He's got some fusion cells. Militia had explorer outfit. Okay, you can raid these guys for some goodies now if you want, or you can come back and get them later. This one has shotgun shells. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get raider leathers. I'm just gonna check the ones that are right out here. Three stim pack pipe. Leather left leg leather raiders. So we're already getting some leather arm parts besides the raider arm parts. And I always get the raider leathers because I'm pretty sure that they do make leather with them. Okay, so before heading in here, we'll go ahead and take his advice and equip uh, the musket. We got a short laser musket. I'm going to put it on uh, all the way to the right here, to the right, and we're going to equip it. Okay, so that's it. Let's crank it up now. Yeah, you crank it and you shoot, and that's how this one works. So we're going to clear out this. Uh, this museum for now hell yeah <laughs> okay there's a grenade I don't think I quite hit it nope didn't get up either time okay can't get them from here, so we're going to have to go up first. So here we go. Have to go around the long way. Wouldn't let us go through the main way first. We're just going to clear the place out first, uh, take care of the people, and then we can loot it afterwards. That's my general advice to anyone playing through this encounter themselves. Protecting anyone else. Alright, we're gonna head right on up. Might as well take this stuff because it's here. Uh, you can go either way. Oh, oh. I'm spotted. There we go. Takes care of him. He's up top. We're gonna get him later. I heard a yelp from our dog, but he's okay. Uh, if the dog ever gets disabled, you can um, get him back in the fight pretty easy. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, there's two guys in here. Dog finished him off for us. Got yeah, here's full view, right, right leg, road leathers. They're the good leathers. Okay. I'm just looting these guys because they're right in front of us. More road leathers. Okay. If you're ever over encumbered, you can always give some stuff to your dog. Another one bites the dust. Another one down. Uh oh. You don't mess with my dog, sir. 
That was a good angle. Okay. Doors open, that means uh, there's nobody left to kill. So I'll go ahead and loot these guys that are left. Long Johns. Switchblade, gas mask. I don't need more Long Johns. Uh, where's the girl? Here she is. One of them. Welding goggles. I don't think I need a harness or anything. Uh, and there's a whole place to loot, but I'm going to go ahead and say to hell with it. Discharge our last shot. And uh, go and meet these good old boys here. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvin, Commonwealth Minutemen. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but... God damn it. Things fell apart. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe. You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and God live for it. a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, oh, made them feral. Is. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Matter of fact, we happen to have a fusion core thanks to hitting the red rocket and hitting that uh, bull rat den. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Okay, so. Now I'm not going to spend too much time looting the place, but I'm going to grab a couple things. First, yes. the Robco fun. Okay, we got another uh, Why not? game. I expect a dog meat would find in that little neighborhood. But oh, so much better. Better. Oh, I did not mean to sit. I was looking at Mama Murphy. She mentioned dog meat. So, he's your dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. 
but he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the Cam's kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm, I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a radar. I'm tired now, and if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Look, Sturgis may be big, but All right, Mama big. Murphy, I think you got a point there. She was uh, foreshadowing for us that something bad is about to happen. Now, there's a bobblehead here. You might want to grab him. It's a permanent perception increase, so you might as well. Why? Why? These guys are all going to keep flipping out for now. Uh... Like I said, we're not going to worry about looting right now. We're going to come back and loot this place a lot later. Um, well, not a lot later. We're going to loot it a lot, but we're going to do it later. And this is going to be our exit to the roof here. So here we go, back to the Commonwealth. Alright, so I do like this game. I still haven't finished it, though. But um, I think it gets kind of a bad rap. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with preferring New Vegas or anything. But it's just still a good game. Alright, uh, let's see, we got some, we got a log there, of whoever left this behind, a cat stash, we'll listen to that later. Dog meat, we know his name now, Coca-Cola bottle. Alright, nothing else too useful. But what I'm going to do before I step into this armor here, is, uh, well we got to get drugged up. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. So, um, let's see, I am going to take some buff out to make us tougher. Okay, and we'll eat some uh, grilled rad roach to heal us up. Uh, should we take some of this? Raises strength, but that's not necessarily going to help us. Um, we'll take some medics. We'll take some. Uh, we don't need mentats. Uh, cola, pork, and beans. And we'll take some psycho. It's just going to get a reaction out of our boy here. And that should actually be all we need, so... Fucking kill! <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do, buddy. We are going to kill. First, we'll insert this power core we got from the mole rat place. And then we'll be able to don this armor ourselves, hat and all. And we are in our powered armor. Time to do the... Iron Man thing. First, we will grab this bird a bird minigun. Thanks for not taking cover, buddy. Why don't you get down here? I'm Show coming down, buddy. So, yeah, you hold X to exit boys. power armor. Got plenty of ammo, 800 rounds. There we go. I think I got him. No, I didn't. Okay, that should do the job.
We don't want this thing to overheat on us. Okay. But this is what we really gotta worry about. Get under him there, holy crap. Yeah, you don't want to fight Death Claws too much. You certainly wouldn't give him a choice. Keep a uh, circle scraping here. Oh, you leave dog meat alone, buddy. Oh, not dog meat. He's our buddy. He's gonna, he's gonna go down any minute now. Where'd he go? Oh, jeez. Got us again. There. Just gotta finish off these guys now. That guy must be the leader. Okay, we got a few more of these. There's one more. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. Alright, so that's good enough for now. We actually used up damn near all our ammunition on that. Let's see what the Death Claw had. A lot of crap. We got meat, hand, and hide. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. Okay. So we lost the arm on our armor, but uh, we can fix that. And we killed the leader of the gang that had these guys hold up. So there's lots of dead raiders to loot, both in and out of the museum. Uh, a lot of stuff in the museum to loot. And we have our first batch of powered armor. Oh, they haven't come down yet because it hasn't... Okay. <laughs> Celebrating prematurely. Well, that guy, he was glitched out or something. It was showing him... Uh, there, but he wasn't there. It was weird. Oh, there he is. That's, that'll do. Yep, that's the last of them. Almost used up all our bullets. Poor dog meat had a tough time of it. But uh, now we can go back and uh, the Museum of Freedom of <laughs> Concord. Uh, there's a few places in Concord to loot. You can get some good stuff. So it can easily become a project on its own. Excuse me. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen. When we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been, because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. 
What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, hold worse on. than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then. Sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, Jimmy. It's time to go. Oh. Okay. Okay, so now you can either leave with these guys and move along. Oh, I might have to. I can barely move. <laughs> Alright. Put the fusion core back in. Um, I'm going to quick travel back to the Red Rocket. And, uh, well, maybe I'll go with them after all. You know, might as well go for the walk. I was gonna loot the place first, but uh, I have too much stuff on me now. I could put stuff on uh, on dog meat there, but um, I might as well just go. It's probably gonna take a couple trips to loot everything uh, in here, in the museum, in Concord, and to loot the different places in Concord. Uh, so that's probably gonna be all off-camera stuff. Um, you know, no adventuring to speak of there per se. Uh, so that is basically gonna, well, I'll walk back with these guys, that'll be help. We'll wrap up this video. Yeah, it's quite, uh, quite a thing I had to kill there, huh, guys? Yeah. Let's move out. That guy died. It's a shame. Stay close, everyone. Go right behind you, boss. Okay, I'm gonna run alongside you guys, and I'm gonna keep picking stuff up. Because, uh, I'm a looter like that. Now, the gang leader, I killed him somewhere back here. Uh, when I find his corpse, his name will pop up. I think his name was Gristle or something like that. Is he back here? I don't remember. It's hard to see because it's raining now. That's a raider. I don't need Long John's. A raider. Okay. That's another raider. Road leathers. That's another raider. Excuse me, guys. Raider leathers. Oh, I'm over encumbered now, even for me. Dog meat, dog meat. Actually, I guess walking slow will be handy. I won't. Uh, I won't get far ahead of these guys. They are kind of autistic. them go on ahead. Yeah, I'll come back and look for Gristle later. Okay, the rest of these guys are kind of... Maybe I'll drop one or two of those uh, outfits I grabbed up. Maybe the Raider Leathers. Oh yeah, we got lots of those. Stop a couple of them. We can move again. All right. We can move again. Now you can also activate the lights on your helmet the same way you activate the lighting your pit boys. Hold the circle. I don't know if it uses more or less energy, so I'll leave it off for now. It's notable because if your powered armor is missing its helmet, for whatever reasons, um, there's no light. And since you can't use your pit boy light, there's there really is just no light. Now, like I said, that house can be miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> Not me, man. 
I'm from Hope this rain lets up soon. where you're going. Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Okay, keep up, June. Uh, okay. Let's get this over with. I'll find it. Oh. I hadn't even noticed that the flies came back. Good job, though, guys. I imagine I can loot this. Hey. I didn't mean to talk to you, buddy. I mean, you could have helped me out back there by taking some of that armor off my hands. Uh, you can see these guys all the way to Sanctuary if you want. And, uh, get the update from them. Once you get them back to Sanctuary, you can also get, um, Codsworth can join your party as an ally to replace dog meat. Dog meat will go to where you tell them to go, and it'll he'll settle in one of the dog houses. I think, uh, the ultimate go back point for him actually is the red rocket I think here. I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh, Sturgis? You would like it, Sturgis, but this is mine. No look, no touchy. Looky, no touchy. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, go right to the garage here. I'm gonna store all my stuff, and uh, then I'm gonna get out of this thing. And by my stuff, I mean my junk. For now. Okay. Um. I'm going to get out of this suit, and I am going to take out the power core, the fusion core, because that, uh, yeah, I can't use it up. Now we can use this to, uh, make repairs to our boy here. You can see triangle is the repair. And, uh, equip as well. Just keep repairing with triangle. We'll get this whole thing back up to snuff. So we have a full suit of armor. You can also modify it with the junk you have collected. Um, there's also different paint schemes you can get it. Uh, of course, you use aluminum and adhesive, nuclear material. So they're actually pretty difficult. This is probably one of the easier ones. You use plastic instead. But adhesive and aluminum, like you can see, all that rooting I've done, I've only got four, one, five, the other. I don't have much. So uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to bring up my stuff from the other place and you use it also for like different models which will actually give you upgrades like this one's got better you know damage resistance and stuff so <laughs> you want to do that but uh, to the T45B but um, we actually can uh, so that's it and you can, you can modify all kinds of stuff here the headlamps uh, decos materials you know all that stuff so, uh, but for now, just getting it back up to snuff is good, and I took the, the reason I took the fusion core out is because when you got settlers, sometimes, uh, they'll wander, they'll even go from, uh, sanctuary to here sometimes, and, uh, when they do that, what they do is, um, I'm not going to use mines too much, I'm going to keep the minigun, I'm not going to use the knuckles, uh, auto pipe pistol can stay. I'm going to keep one pipe pistol and mod it myself. I'm not going to use a pool cue. Uh, I don't need five short barreled shotguns. Um, laser musket. Oh, I should have kept the switchblade. I actually kind of. Uh, give me weapons. Switchblade. Yeah, I'll take that back. Um, oh, yes, and this. Uh, the assault gas mask. I'll use that for materials. Checkered shirt. Explorer outfit. I'll ditch. A gas mask with goggles I'll keep for now. Greaser jacket. Uh, regular leather I'll keep. So the leather left leg, re leather right leg. I don't need the long johns. Militia hat's cool. I don't use the raider pieces. They tend to have a lot of barbed wire. I mean, technically they'll work. Raider leathers for hopefully leather. Raider left arm. So yeah, I could deck out fully in raider gear. And I'd be uh, fully upgraded. But I don't want to look like a uh, raider. Now the road leathers are actually basically the Mad Max outfits. So <laughs> you might want to stick with those. That's like a psycho hood. Uh, keep my jumpsuit. My lab coat. My wedding ring. I don't need the regular chest plate. I'll keep one set of goggles around. Because I do like goggles. Alright. And that pretty much covers uh, my stuff there. Okay, so. There we go. We can move again. All is well. Um, I'm not sure what time it is in world here. It's uh, 6 p.m. But I'm going to call it a day there because I'm going to run back to the museum and to Concord. I'm going to loot everything. 
Okay, uh, and I'm gonna do that off screen because it's just me running around collecting shit. It's not an adventure, uh, it's not worth watching. But, uh, once I'm done collecting and I'll bring all my junk from, uh, Sanctuary down to here so that I can modify shit here. And, uh, and that'll be good. So, uh, until next time, I'll see you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been fun meeting, uh, dog meat and going to Concord. Uh, until next time, take it easy. See you later.